Okay, so this next repair is about consolidating a text block. So I'm sure you've seen before where a book might be split at the cover, um, it's been opened and closed a billion times, and the publisher's adhesive starts to break down. It happens quite often, especially in uh, paperback books, you'll see it even more often, where even a whole section of the book is pulled away, um, or multiple sections. So I'm going to show you how to repair both of those. So it's actually quite simple with uh, the hardback book here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to hold the book this way so that I can, it's open wide enough that I can be sure to get adhesive down in there. What I want to do is just use my brush. I'm going to use the same uh, adhesive as before, the Elmer's glue. Getting glue on my brush and putting adhesive, and right now it looks a little sloppy, putting adhesive right down in there. You don't want to get tons of glue, but you do want to have enough glue down in there that it's going to hold the book. So you're going to just run a line of adhesive down the center. Make sure you're getting on the back of each of the sections down in that spine. And in some cases you can see I have a little bit much glue here, so I'm just going to use my finger to wipe away some of that glue. And I actually don't mind that there's a little bit of adhesive here, because what's going to happen when I close the book is I want all of that adhesive in there to stick the sections of the book back together, but the little bit of adhesive that I have on either side there is actually going to put the these two sheets of paper together and that's going to make the repair a little bit um, stronger. So what I'm going to do is just close it. I'm going to make sure that my foredge of my book is lined up the way I want it to be. Kind of pressing on the spine there. I'm going to use the heel of my hand and what I'm doing is just sort of pushing that adhesive up into the sections of the book. And then what I want to do, these are just bamboo skewers, just like what you would find in the grocery store. You can also use knitting needles if you happen to have them. You would want to use a fairly narrow diameter one. But what I'm going to do is just put that right into the groove of the book. That We call that the shoulder of the book. I'm going to flip it over. And I'll put another one on the other side. And what that's doing is that's putting a lot of pressure right there where I put the uh, two sections together. And then I'm going to take a heavy weight and I'll set it right on top of that bamboo skewer. And I'm going to leave it underweight. Ideally, I would leave this overnight, at the very least an hour. But I would try to leave it overnight before you put it back into circulation. So what if you don't have a heavy weight? We often will use a cloth covered brick. We use those in preservation services as well. It's a great alternative. I also have uh, weights like that, <laughs> just fitness weights that work. Um, a really big heavy can of soup. If you're worried about whatever it is that you're putting on the surface, you can put a board down first and then put the weight on top of it. Also, a lot of um, flea markets will ha and antique fairs will have these kind of old cast iron irons. They work great as well. They're nice and heavy and they'll hold things in place. But usually the cloth covered brick, it seems to be a good bit brick si a book size and it will hold it um, pretty well. So again, I'd leave that overnight. In the meantime, I wanna show you another repair, very similar, this time on the paperback book. So in this case, we don't have the advantage of the two pieces still being attached together. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a strip of cloth and I'm going to mask off part of this here, maybe about an eighth inch or so um, that's masked off and I'm going to put adhesive, a, a line of adhesive down that to hold the spine together um, to attach it to the other piece. And then I'll show you 
what else we can do. So while it's masked off, I'm just gonna put a thin bit of adhesive. You don't want too much because you don't want it gushing in between the two pages and attaching and, and keeping the pages from opening properly. So I really just have about an eighth of an inch there. I'll peel away my waste paper. And then what you want to do, I'm going to actually hold the spine up. I'll turn it this way so you can see. But I want to line up my foredge and head of the book, the top of the book. And then I'll sort of, once I have those where I want them, then I'm going to apply pressure to the back here. And you could at this stop at this point go ahead and put a heavy weight on it and let that part dry before you continue. Where the next step is you're going to put adhesive on the back of this. You see a lot of times where a paperback the the cover starts to pull away. So um, you can put an extra piece of paper. You could just glue a piece of paper on the back of this and that would be an extra layer of protection, kind of line the spine there. Or um, you could do that and then reattach the cover or in this case I'm going to just reattach the cover. So what I'll do is, um, actually I'm going to use my bigger brush. Just been in the water over there. some adhesive on it and I'm gonna glue up the spine again you want to have enough adhesive that it's gonna hold it together but you don't want to have too much adhesive it's just gonna gush out everywhere and it may impede the function of the book a lot of times you think more glue is better but not always true in book binding Okay, so I have the back of the spine there, and then I'm going to use my waste paper again. I'm going to mask off the edge there, and apply more adhesive. And this is going to keep the cover wrapped around the spine. away my waste paper and what I'll do is I'm going to use I'm, I'm pulling the cover around this direction and I'm just kind of starting at the bottom and working my way up rubbing back and forth making sure that the cover is really adhered you can't even use um, a Teflon folder or a bone folder there are um, different kinds of tools that are great um, to kind of burnish um, different surfaces in book binding. So some are actually made from bone, some are made from Teflon. You can also even use this, this is, um, you've probably seen one of these, it's like a icing spreader for um, cakes or um, a spatula. Um, you can get those at a kitchen supply store for about a dollar and they work the same way. But basically what you're doing with it is just kind of use your finger on the back of it and it will slide along the surface and you're just getting extra pressure. And if you have any adhesive that comes out the end, then you can just wipe that on your cloth. I want to make sure that it's adhered really well. Again, I have a little extra adhesive. And then I'll take my brick and I'll put it on it. And this time I'm not using the bamboo skewers because there isn't a shoulder on this book, um, being that it's a, a paperback book. So I'll just leave the brick on it and um, again, ideally leave it overnight to dry.